With the Galaxy Tab 2, you must disconnect the device to perform effective data collection from the PC. Uh, eventually, though, you will come back and you want to take the data back up to your PC. So you'll connect up again and you should get this here, the autoplay, open device to view files. And that will actually bring you in. And then you can go back to your tablet again and you can look at the file that you have. And the file this time is a little bit larger, so it contains a little more data here. And we're going to copy this here. And what I like to do is I like to create another folder on the way in under the documents. You can see I've got it under my PDA time studies here. And it's called templates, templates back from PDA. <clears throat> so here's my templates that go down to the PDA. These don't, those don't contain any data. The templates back do contain the data. So I'm going to come in here. I've just already got some data in here from a previous one. I'll paste it in here. And it's going to be in there, device test V11. And you can see here the size is also 70 uh, KB up here. Okay. And we go to the uh, template we have here. Bring it up. Import from device. Go to Android. And I look for my PDA time studies. And the one I'm bringing back here is this one here, device test 2. I click on it and open it. In. Give it a second or two. All my data is in here as if I'd collected it manually and from here I can go right away to generate my report section here. So again the key thing here is to make sure that your device is not connected while you're performing the data collection and then when you bring it back uh, you will copy the file up into a folder and I like to call it templates back from PDA, store it in here and then that's the file that you access to pull the data back into your, uh, into your Excel sheet to perform your summarizations.